Kyrgyzstan's post-Soviet experience has been unique among the Central Asian states, having seen two revolutions in the past decade and an earnest struggle towards democracy. Today the country is at the epicenter of a new great game, a struggle for influence in the region, with American and Russian military bases, Turkish schools, Saudi Arabian mosques, and Chinese roads all built with the aim of forging closer alliances with the tiny but strategically situated country. Kyrgyzstan's position at the heart of Asia has made a historically vital connection between East and West, Marco Polo, Genghis Khan, and the merchants of the Silk Road passed through these lands. The Russians subdued the Kyrgyz tribes in the mid-19th century as the empire expanded into Central Asia and held on through the Soviet era, bringing heavy industry to the country. Kyrgyzstan gained its independence in 1991 as the USSR collapsed. <laughs> Bishkek is an excellent base from which to study Central Asia and all the issues facing formerly Soviet states. The haphazard Soviet borders have left Kyrgyzstan divided into northern and southern halves, each with its own political peculiarities and with large pockets of Uzbek minorities who have a separate ethnic and political identity. Poor in resources, Kyrgyzstan has struggled without Soviet subsidies and the benefits of a large planned economy. Now undergoing a revival of its native culture, Kyrgyzstan has also proven adept at courting much larger powers, including Russia, the U.S., and China, giving it disproportionate influence in the region and billions in outside aid and investment. So this kind of great game over Central Asia has started, kind of regained its importance. It was a, a great game in the history too, when there was a British and Russian rivalry and between two empires. Now it, it has taken different kind of phase after 9-11. And there are actually competing major powers uh, like the US and Russia, China, SRAS's flagship Central Asian Studies program in Bishkek takes full advantage of Kyrgyzstan's unique position. Overviewing the politics, history, culture, and contemporary power struggles in Central Asia and Afghanistan, this program includes travel to Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, and Turkmenistan. Students are rapidly introduced to this geopolitically important but largely unknown region, its numerous problems, diverse cultures, and many opportunities. Students interested in cultural anthropology will appreciate another SRAS program called Kyrgyz Summer Adventure. Students study Russian in Bishkek before diving into rural life. Village homestays allow a look at Kyrgyz culture in its most pristine and rustic form, and a week-long horse trek through the Tian Shan Mountains to taste the traditional Kyrgyz nomadic lifestyle caps off the trip. Those interested in focusing on Russian language will find Bishkek a remarkably effective place to do so. Russian is still an official language of Kyrgyzstan, and most locals in Bishkek speak Russian as either a first or second language. English is rarely heard on the streets. In addition, the cost of living in Bishkek is about half that of Moscow. And again, to study Russian, it's great because people are very, very friendly here, and there's so many ethnicities here, so people are always asking, where are you from? Um, where were you born? And they want to know more about you. And so it's very easy to practice your skills because there's always someone to talk to. And of course it's unique in Central Asia because it's the most democratic and most free. And so it's easy to move around, travel around, um, and again, meet more people. So I spent some time in St. Petersburg already and I wanted something different. Um, I also feel like with Kyrgyzstan and with all of Central Asia, it's an area that so few people know anything about, including myself. I didn't really know what to expect coming in. Um, so I think that sort of intrigued me. Programs in Bishkek also offer a month or more of homestays as part of the regular program cost, giving students more opportunities for rapid language advancement and cultural immersion. <laughs> SRAS programs are hosted at the London School of Bishkek, which offers professional instruction in Russian, Kyrgyz, and other Central Asian languages. The London School is a private institution based in newly renovated and modern facilities. 
It offers excellent service and a friendly environment. Bishkek is a fascinating study destination for students not only interested in a high level of immersion, but in gaining a comprehensive understanding of the culture and geopolitics of a little known, yet strategically important region. Kyrgyzstan and Central Asia has always been, from the early ages of history, has been a kind of important point because it is situated uh, between two continents, Asia and Europe, and even from the Silk Road, you know, the caravan, so it has become um, very important uh, point uh, uh, in terms of economy and politics also. In the past two decades, Kyrgyzstan has been rocked by events beyond its borders, with wars in some neighboring states and economic booms in others. The country has struggled to maintain a balance between its internal political, ethnic, and geographic divisions. Yet, it has also leveraged its geopolitical position to gain international influence unprecedented in its history. Kyrgyzstan has largely profited from this new great game, and the country has much to teach about how such contests are played.